Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a question with me. This question was sent to me by Fabian. Yeah, it's coming from Fabian. Fabian sent this question to me. Uh, it may be very important for you to watch the video so that you can also get some ideas. The question is very important. And uh, it's quite a trick. Yeah, you need to be very smart. All right, so... Here's a question. We have been given this pyramid and the base of the pyramid. They have said it's a square base, square base. And then it is also a right pyramid. And uh, the angles here, this is 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees at P, they are angles. And we have A, B, C, D, the corners on the base. And then the vertex here, it's uh, O on top. All right, and there is a very important statement over here that given that OA is equal to OB is equal to OC is equal to OD is equal to 10 centimeters, so which means all these lines up from the corner of the base to the vertex are 10 centimeters. So even here, so even here, it's 10 centimeters. It is also 10 centimeters this side, and here it's a uh, 10 centimeters all of them are 10 centimeters 10 centimeters so now they say calculate the height op so op how can we calculate the height this is a procedure this is what we're going to do we we'll, we'll say our our op can be calculated using pythagoras theorem so i want you to see what i'll do here this is my D over here, and this is my P, P here, and this is my O. So, and this is 90 degrees. If you can see nicely, it's forming a right angled triangle. So, this side we know it's 10 centimeters. Then here from D to P, we don't know. It's from here to here, we don't know. So, we need to find this side. So, what are we going to do? We'll get... Uh, the base this is how the base looks from this is a here b c d and they have said the base is a, a square it's a square base so this is eight uh, centimeters this is also eight centimeters this is eight centimeters eight centimeters over here if you can see this is a midpoint here where they are touching it's here So this is where they are touching. So this is P, where they are touching at P. And at P here, this same P, let me put my P somewhere here. An angle here, it's 90 degrees. So we're going to use, in order for us to find uh, this, this distance, we're going to use what we call uh, spatial angles. So spatial angles, this is 90 degrees. If this is 90 degrees here, here, when we cut, it's 45 degrees. So this side will be 45 and this side will be 45. So I have something like this. This is the D and this is the P. So this is how it will look like. Okay. And here there is a corner. This corner will be 90 degrees. The distance from here to here, because this is 8 centimeters from D to C. If we cut D to C, in between our four centimeters so our four centimeters and uh, since this is a square base and they are all touching here so this will also be four centimeters you see here in between it's four centimeters from here to here it's four centimeters so it would also be four centimeters so we can use Pythagoras theorem we say c squared is equal to um, uh, a squared plus b squared so our C, we don't have, we put X squared, we don't have, it's this side. And then our A, 4 squared plus 4 squared, our B, this we have. So X squared is equal to, this is, uh, this will give us uh, 32, 16, 16 plus 16 is 32. The root of 32 will be equal to 5.7. Centimeters, so we have found D P 
P. So DP here is 5.7 centimeters. So for us to find the, the, the height, we can use the idea of Pythagoras theorem still. It is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Our C we have it's 100. And then our A is 5.7 squared plus our B, we put X, we don't have here. So here it will be 100, which is equal to uh, 32.5. This 5.7 squared is 32.5 plus x or here is squared plus x squared. So we can solve here to be like this, which is equal to x squared. Then when we work out, it will be 67.5, which is equal to x squared. So we square both sides over. Uh, 8.2 which is equal to x so in this case our height h is equal to 8.2 centimeters thank you we're done with uh, question one this is the answer for question one we go to question two so for question two watch the next video where i'll be showing you on how to answer question two